Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Angling Focus. Today we're going to be fishing for American Shad, a fish species that once a year leave the Atlantic Ocean, swim up into the fresh water to spawn. And they usually arrive to Montreal area around end of May, beginning of June. And we are in the city of Laval right now, northern of Montreal. And I'm going to show you right here. We are fishing the Clary River. And right on this river, there is a dam, a big dam that prevents the fish from going up any further. There are people from the boat, there are people fishing from the other side of the bank, and everyone seems to be having good success. This is certainly the right time to be fishing for them. I'm gonna try to go find a quiet spot down below and see if I can catch a few myself. I'm gonna go put on my wader, and I'm gonna show you my setup, and let's get fishing. All right, in terms of fishing gear that I'm going to be using is a medium light power fast action spinning rod. The nine foot length and the fast action tip of this rod is perfect for the kind of jigging that we're going to be doing today. I have a 10 pound test braided line here and nine pound test fluorocarbon leader materials. As far as jig is concerned, everyone is using the same thing as a dart jig of different color depending on the day. I have six different colors here. The size that I'm using is 3 14th of an ounce. Hopefully, I will have the right color for the day. So yesterday I was trying to find a quiet spot downstream of the dam, but there were people everywhere. I tried to squeeze in and make a few casts, stay for a few hours, but didn't get any result. So I decided to head back home. Today is day number two. The conditions have changed a little bit. There's more wind, a little bit colder than yesterday, but I'm hopeful because there is not as many people. Let's see if we can catch a few fish and do some nice catch and cook video for you guys. All right, wish me luck. See you on the water.
oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. two fish that should be enough for our catch and cook video today I'm gonna just prep them quickly descaling them right here and we will see you back at home Okay guys, I just got back home, got changed, feel much better, and now I'm ready to cook our catch. So this is my first time cooking the fish, and from what I heard, this fish has tons of bones, and they're such a pain to cook with, or to eat, because they could be so annoying to keep getting the bone out of your mouth every bite. So with that in mind, I have done a lot of research, and I think the way I'm gonna prepare this fish today is gonna be fish croquette. That way, I don't have to deal with trying to make beautiful filet because anyway, that is not gonna happen. This fish is just so frustrating to prepare. So many bones. No matter what you do, no matter how nice of a fillet you, you try to make, there's gonna be bones in everything you, you make. I cannot imagine trying to eat it from the fillet without the constant fear of choking on the bones. Impossible. And that is why I think making this fish into a croquette is the only way to deal with all the bones. Because you actually have several occasions to remove the bones before you actually serve it to your family or your guest. First, you're going to remove most of the bones when you scrape the fillet with the spoon. And then you're going to catch it again after you finish boiling the fish because now the fish will turn white but the bones stay transparent and you, you see them very easily. And then if you still miss some of those, you're gonna catch them later as you make your croquette. By the time you fried it, you should pretty much already be done with 99% of the bones. It's a lot of time, a lot of effort. I'm so glad finally I come to frying it. Finally, it is done. So guys, thank you for watching. It has been 
quite an adventure today from the riverbank to the kitchen table. It has been fun making all this video for you and I really do hope that you enjoy what you're seeing and learn something about preparing this fish through my paint. The biggest challenge that I have in the entire process here is, believe it or not, deboning the fish. I have been told, I have been warned that it's gonna be a pain in the butt. It's gonna be a lot of work, but I was not mentally prepared for the amount of bones that I have to get out of this two fish. It is practically impossible to get the bone out of the meat without destroying the entire filling. And that's why for me, cooking in this way into a croquette is the only way to use most of the fish that would otherwise go to waste. If you are interested in the full recipe, or if you're interested to know my trick to get rid of 90% of the bone from the fillet, stay tuned for next week's video. If you decided to give it a try yourself, let me know how you like it. And if you have any suggestions or any idea of how you actually cook this fish without dealing with so much of the bones or spending so much time weeding out the bone, let me know. I would greatly appreciate it. And maybe next time I will do the same. I don't know about you, but after a long day that I have, I'm super hungry and I'm ready to enjoy this hard work I put into making this croquette. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video or consider subscribing to the channel if not already done so. It has been a pleasure to share this journey with you and as always, thank you for watching. See you next time.